Of course, King Carino here with Doug and Dave. Uh, Terminal 5, obviously a huge show, best in the world tonight. You're, I'm sure, very excited about the entire card, really top to bottom, but especially Lethal versus Briscoe. This is going to be an outstanding night here in New York City. Oh, absolutely. I've been with this company for a long time, and I've been a wrestling fan for 30-plus years. But being a part of the atmosphere of Jay Lethal, Jay Briscoe, the buildup of everything, the, the, the circumstances around the match, you know, title for title, it's, it's definitely the biggest match Ring of Honor's ever produced. And, you know, I'm excited to call it as a, as a commentator and a wrestling personality, but, man, it, it's, it's electric. You can, you can feel it. Uh, it's, it's history making, whether it goes one way or the other. And, it, and it's funny because I just got done with a production meeting, which I'm usually never invited to. I was in the creative meeting, but that was just by accident. I walked into that one. <laughs> and it's just you, you just don't know what's going on. It's that that te that great tension, not the oh, no, what's going to happen? It's oh, man, what's going to happen tension. And I think it's important to really state the fact again that this is probably the biggest match in the history of Ring of Honor. With, and Ring of Honor has such a great tradition in pro wrestling. But to have two champions going up against each other and now on pay-per-view in New York City and with the deal with Destination America, this is definitely the biggest match in the history of Ring of Honor. Oh, you're absolutely right. The Destination America deal couldn't happen at a better and more important time with Lethal and Briscoe title for title and you know now having the added exposure uh, of Destination America every Wednesday night you know it, it just brought this match up to an even higher level and we, we saw nine years ago we saw Nigel McGuinness and, and Daniel Bryan you know go at it to unify the world and pure titles but this one isn't a unification it's title for title somebody's going to walk out with two titles and I mean, it's it's going to be history making you know Briscoe has a chance to become only the third guy to be the, the Triple Crown winner. Jay Lethal has a chance to, you know, add on to this legacy and this amazing hot streak that he's on if he wins it, you know. And I, what I'm really excited about is to see where the fans, you know, put their loyalty to. Lethal's pretty much a hometown boy being from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Briscoe, always a big favorite. But over the course of the last few months, you, you've just been hearing the crowd, that appreciation they have for the, the art form that Jay Lethal puts out every time. It's going to be... It, it, there's no clear-cut winner. There's no clear-cut babyface. There's no clear-cut heel. And I think they're just so good together, uh, like both of them individually but together, that they're going to feed off the people as opposed to the people feeding off them. And it, it's going to be something special. You mentioned Destination America, and I think it is a, a great time to be a Ring of Honor fan for so many different reasons, not just the excellence in the ring, but now the distribution is getting larger. And we saw the, you know, a shoe drop with Nesson, which is a big deal, and the Atlanta market and the Dallas market. And you keep adding on with, with Sinclair, increasing their reach, increasing their syndication. When you look at Destination America, it's obviously an unusual situation with TNA being behind you guys. but what can we expect? Right now, we're seeing the Toronto shows, which, I mean, just some epic wrestling. How many more little elements, like, what can you share with us as far as what we might see on TV when it comes to that particular product? Well, it, it's funny because we had already taped the Toronto uh, matches. They, they were already in the can before the Destination America deal was even announced. So you, you don't hear any specific things for Destination America. And it, it goes with the confidence that Hunter Johnston has in his product that they didn't put a best of or an introduction. They said, you know what, we're going straight. This is the crew that we're going with. And it's something that like, at first I said, oh man, are you, are you sure you wanna go this way? Maybe we should introduce the characters. But Hunter's got such confidence in his whole team that he said, we're going from day one, let's get, let's go. And I, I love it. And I, Wednesday night's a perfect night, you know, with, with TNA right behind us from nine to 11. And then our our replay right after it, it becomes a great night of wrestling for fans. And I, I'm a big believer in, you know, on a Wednesday night there could be four comedies on, and they're all going to be different, but you're all going to laugh at them. Same thing with wrestling. You're going to watch Ring of Honor, then you're going to watch TNA, then you're going to watch Ring of Honor again, and then you're going to watch NXT the, on the network. And for for me as a, a, a lifelong fan, I think, man, there's no better time right now. Not only do you get WWE, you, you, you get Raw, you get SmackDown, you get and then you get NXT and ROH and TNA and Lucha Underground, and then you know you just gotta punch up your computer and you get such great organizations out there like PWG and and AEW and PWF and CZW. You get all these great organizations out there. It's a great time to be a fan.
And it really does remind me, and we've talked about this before, of like the mid-80s, for all the territories on TV, and eventually the cream always rises to the top, and I really think that Ring of Honor is in that perfect position to really get the attention it deserves now. Oh, absolutely, I, because I think we got that forward momentum. Mm -hmm. We're putting on stellar shows. Um, you know, the, the Sinclair Broadcast uh, channel that channels that we've been on you know it's been that slow growth that slow burn that people talk about and we took our time we didn't race for the finish line right away it has been a, a three four year plan going forward and now we go into these tv towns and people know the characters the second the music hits or the second they see the face I, I you know just in my son's you know small career here in three weeks of destination america he's been on twice and every thursday he opens up his emails and he's got 15 emails from promoters like hey man you know i saw you on tv and thank god he's still alive from right. what i saw on oh wednesday my goodness. when are you gonna <laughs> pop bj whitmer in the face oh uh, man you, you see me i'm a three-piece suit <laughs> I, I, I can't ruin this <laughs> jacket came off on wednesday oh, yeah. Yeah. my wife got mad she's like you know how much you paid for that suit you know instead of spending money on like ring jackets and trunks now yeah i spend my money on suits like not like rick flair style but you know i, I wear a nice suit and yeah, she saw that jacket come off. She's like, what are you thinking? Sit down in that chair. Um, but yeah, Colby's doing a good job. I've been, I've been hearing so many people are tweeting me saying that they, they, um, he reminds them of a young El Generico, which wow. I, I believe that's, you know, just the body style and the way he sells and these crazy bumps that he's taking that like, I text him, he never texts me back like, hey man, yeah, keep keep some of those bumps in your pocket. All right, I got it. <laughs> you know, so he's a uh, he's a good kid, but man, he's paying his dues right now, taking taking some bumps. And but he's he's going down fighting. I would never slap Moose, even if you told me it was part of my job. I would definitely never slap Ray Rowe. I think he's been to prison. So like Colby's done two of those things on the, you know two of those things on the first three weeks of Destination America, and um, I, I think the people are getting into all the characters. They see Colby's an 18 year old kid. They see VJ as just an a-hole. They see, you know, uh, and we still haven't seen Roderick Strong. You know, we still haven't really seen Adam Cole mm -hmm. yet. Uh, the Kingdom, Bullet Club, you know, uh, AJ Styles. You know, this is just, you know, we're, we're showing um, our young guys right now. It's just how the tapings were run, but it, it's been great. And I, I think, you know, the best is yet to come and now added momentum being on Destination America and all the Sinclair channels. It, it is a great time to be here. Usually I'm the guy that gets there at the wrong point. Like I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm finally at, <laughs> in the right place at the right time. Took me forever, but I got here. Well, hey, you know, the other good thing is you pop on the network, you could see King of the Old School every oh, now and again. Eh? I know, when I was young and nice hair. Nice hair. My, my wife hates that hair too. <laughs> but she was in like grade school when all that happened. So it was okay. But the and biggest thing for me is see, you know, you calling in to bust it open, tweeting yeah. about, you know, for us doing this show on Sirius XM, knowing that you're a fan and that you're listening means a lot to us. Oh, you, and it's, it's funny because, you know, I drive around all day and I have a business outside of wrestling. I drive around all day and I'm literally MLB network all the time until it's time for Busted Open Radio, and I turn it on, awesome. you know. And I'll even text uh, uh, Casey Stern. I'll be like, hey, man, I'll be back in two hours, you know, to listen yeah. to Stern. Uh, <laughs> so I keep trying to get him to come out to, you know, but he keeps having kids. And, uh, <laughs> That's right. and a second kid just recently. And, um, and even though he's a Mets fan, I let it go. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's great that what you guys do, and it, it's always positive. It, it's such a, a, a refreshing thing because sometimes in any form of entertainment or sports, you know, you get that negative, and, and you, you know, listening to sports talk radio in big cities, yeah. it's negative, negative, negative. But what you guys do on XM Sirius is just, it's always positive, and that, that, that makes me feel happy, it makes me feel proud, and like, I'll, I'll tell you what, we did the, the Dusty tribute last week, and once I sat down and really thought of it, I, I poured myself a glass of wine, I'm like, whoa, wait a second. I was after Flair, and Jim Ross, and right before Harley Race, and Dreamer, and I'm like I did not belong on that panel, but like you guys give me the you know the opportunity to come in and tell some stories, and yeah, I always appreciate it. Yeah, and we listen, we appreciate you. And at the end of the day, it's what's best for pro wrestling. That you know, our show is we're positive. If we don't like something, we're gonna talk about it. But at the end of the day, we care about the business. We care about people like yourself who paved the ways for so many others. And all we want is for wrestling to succeed. That's really all. I, I know. 
the same can be said for you. You care about the future of the business. Right. It's such a great business, such a great sport, such a great industry. And you're not going to like everything. It's subjective. But, like, we find what we don't like. We say it. And then we kind of make fun a little bit. And then we move on and stuff like that. We don't we don't just beat it, beat it, beat it. And that's, that's what I really I enjoy because it's such a fun business right now, man. It is. It, it is. So, uh Man, thank you. Thank you guys for no. having me. You guys come to Field of Honor this year? Of course. Oh, you're going to be at Field of uh, Honor. Wait until you see what I pull out this year. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, the office wasn't happy when I expensed the, the receipt, but it's going to be something. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> we'll All be right, there. We'll we're definitely, definitely looking there. forward to tonight for sure. Steve, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.